don't settle for fakes. My dual taining is the real deal. Hey everyone, it's McLeod. Welcome to another gameplay video. This time I'm playing Rockets, and um, this is the second time I'm making a, a video on, on, on Rockets. Uh, but my deck has significantly improved uh, since the last time I got a third quick launch and a third tracer. And this is very similar to the list that I cogged with uh, last month, at the end of the month. Uh, the only difference is I cut one quad Boral Dragon in order to uh, put Miles in. Because realistically, I never go into quad Boral Dragon, so this doesn't really matter. So I think it's really fun to play, and I enjoy it a lot. So I'm going to play it, and um, I don't think I need to explain any of the, the, the staple cards here. But we'll see how it goes. And uh, Notorious Sly... If you're watching this, this is how you play Rock. <laughs> I have no grounds to say this. I'm gonna mess up every play I'm gonna make. First game of the day is against a, a, an absolute madman on Duke Devlin. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. I'm intrigued. Oh, we drew nuts. This is a not so hand. I'm going first. Oh my god. This is just an insane quality hand. Activate Quick Launch, Whoop. break something on my desk, Tracer, pop the Quick Launch in order to special, I'm going to special a Silver Rocket, I'm going to shuffle a Silver Rocket uh, with my skill anyway, and Metal Rocket, Magna Rocket, I'm trying to consider which one I'm going to need more in the late game, and I think it's definitely not Magna Rockets. So, um, I don't even have to activate the scale, or all, all things considered. That is interesting. Anyway, I am going to link these two of in order to make Booster Dragon, and I'm putting in over there because it's noise points to there. I'm gonna activate the scale, not the scale, Booster Dragon's effect, targeting my Silver Rocket. Civil Rocket Effect, I'm gonna pop it, see what's in my opponent's extra deck. Okay, it's Crystron. Uh, what's the most important card you can get rid of in Crystron? Maybe Powered Insectron, maybe Amatrix. Uh, they are not on Labyrinth, so I don't think there's a risk of them going into Trish. Powered Insectron it is. Uh, and then I destroyed Silver Rocket, but I can still activate a spell card. Dragon's Mirror in order to vanish Tracer and Magna Rocket, the two rockets I have not destroyed, in order to go into Borolord Savage Dragon. Furious! God damn it! <laughs> oh, wishful thinking. Uh, and that's the end of my turn. So, Silver Rocket's gonna float into Tracer. Number two. Gonna put it in defense just in case. I think that's a pretty good turn. Normal Scrap Recycler, so yeah, that, it definitely is Christian. Praise your auto. Aren't you supposed to send Sopulf of Nier? I thought you were supposed to send Sopulf of Nier. Oh, he already has Sopulf of Nier. I know it's not pronounced Sopulf of Nier, but it's too funny for me not to say Sopulf of Nier. Sopulf of Nier, pop itself. Goes for a 4. 4. Pops. Okay, so he's gonna lock himself into machines. Do I care? I do care because... Wait, I think I do care. Because I do not have a way to um, get rid of Samurai Destroyer, at least not with card effect. So I think I'm gonna pop the Rosenix. Booster Dragon is going to bring back my Silver Rocket. It's funny because I had a poll uh, on my on my YouTube asking people if they wanted to see me play Rocket, Chris Jones, and I forgot what the third deck was. Uh, and I decided to go with Rockets because that was like the, the, the winner. But it was a very close between Rockets and then the runner-up, which was Chris Jones, actually. Uh, it can't go into anything because I banished Powered Insectron and... He's locked into machines per Rosnix's effect. That's the end of the main phase. That's the end of battle oh, battle phase. Uh, I'm gonna lose the tracer anyway, so. Special 
metal rocket. Immediately in draw. Like I'm, I'm, I'm furiously clicking my mouse. I'm gonna pop this and that so he can't synchro. Uh, do I? I don't want to activate the skill. I think I just go for lethal. I think this is a very straightforward kind of kind of lethal here. What could he possibly have in hand? Doesn't matter. No, I have lethal on board. I shouldn't overthink this. There's nothing he can have that would stop me from getting lethal. So. And there we go. Ah! Why are you picking Duke Devlin for this? <laughs> very straightforward first game against Duke Devlin. Also potentially a very straightforward second game against Scud. Who plays Scud? Who plays Scud? Uh, I don't think. I don't know. I don't think it's. I don't think it's something I want to stand back. I want to go for the same play as last time, shuffling the Book of Moon back. I'm not sure if that's objectively better than keeping the Book of Moon, especially against Infernoid. If it is indeed Infernoid. Um, I think I'm still going to go for the, the skill play, because I have to. I'm just not sure if I send back Book of Moon or good Dragon's Mirror. I think I want to send back the Book of Moon, uh, because uh, Furious Dragon is, is much more threatening, so... Activate Boot Sector Launch, Book Sector Launch F summons Magna Rocket, uh, Tracer pops the Boot Sector Launch, Special Silver Rocket, then we go for Booster Dragon once again. This is basically the bread and butter combo that's... Well, I do it every game, I don't know if it's like objectively correct, but I like having information on what my opponents could be playing. Just need, just need to know. Okay, it is 100% noids. Uh, what do I banish? Dark Rebellion, I don't think would be an issue. Like, none of these are issue except precisely the back Black Rose. I'm just gonna get rid of Black Rose. And once again, Dragon's Mirror into Furious Dragon. End phase, Silver Rocket floats into Rocket Tracer. I think the way uh, that I like to play with um, Silver Rocket also explains why in my decklist I'm playing three Silver Rockets instead of only two or uh, three of another rocket. Three tracers are always correct, other ratios are more uh, open to discussion, shall we say. Uh, fuck you, Booster Dragon. Fuck you, Infernoid Decotron. If he's sending Deviati, I won't get a chance to respond. But if he's not sending Deviati, then. I do have a chance to, <laughs> to respond. Uh, sending Armadic. Okay. This would have been a good case for Evil Swarm Nightmare turn 1. Except that you already had the Decatron in hand. So you could have normal Decatron and immediately popped it. Uh, okay, size the mass. That's what he's going for. Okay. Okay. At least he doesn't have Void Feast, which is really... Oh. Well, if it, even if it is Void Feast, it doesn't do anything. So we, we chill, we good. Um, I think, unfortunately, I have to pop this. I should have summoned it in defense. Not, like, not that it matters much, but it could. The point is, he's going to clear these two and then be able to... Uh, banish my Ball of Furious Dragon per the effect of Systemas, but... Why doesn't he attack with the Petrullia? I'm really confused. Okay. Also, he could have gotten rid of my Silver Rocket Engrave, but he chose not to for some obscure reason. I don't really get it, but it's up to you, man. This is very interesting as a draw. I think I activate it immediately, and then immediately chain Rocket Tracer to it. Because if this is Void here, like it could be, I'm going to be able to not going to Dark End and waste my uh, Dark End there, you know? I have better plays available to me now that I uh, draw this. And it, it does look like it could be Void here. Also, I could be completely wrong. 
Either way, popping this with uh, Tracer ASAP. Oh, Sight's the Mask rebuting itself. In response. Banishing Booster Dragon. Uh, Tracer pops Book of Moon. Uh, specials. Magna Rockets. I don't think I have a way to make very uh, funky plays here. But we can have fun. We can have fun with Evil Swarm Nightmare. Is there a way of the whole this turn? Crash, 16... No, I don't think there is. Uh, I think Evil Swarm Nightmare is a rather enticing play to be making. So I'm gonna go for that. Let's see what happens. My logic here is that I don't have lethal, so I'd rather play the long game. If it is feast, it's very good for me. If it is not feast, well, what you're gonna do is not feast. Uh, silver rockets, because apparently I don't have any more tracers. One there, one there, and one under the evil soul nightmare. It's fine. I don't think there's one car that gets them out of here, so... Oh! Uh! Size the mask from grave gets flipped down by Evil Swarm Nightmare. Dragon's Mirror. That is an impeccable top deck. We are going for Borderlord Furious number two. And they're going for the concede button. <laughs> uh Shay and Varys. Wow, my mind froze for a second there. <laughs> I just looked at the scales like, whoa, these are things that are on the screen. Okay, the sand is pee pee poo poo. It does contain disruption, but not much else. So the idea is. I don't think, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, I think I go for this rocket tracer. But it's such a bad hand, honestly. Uh, shuffle one big of moon back. Activate Boot Sector Launch. Pop the Boot Sector Launch, if my opponent lets me. Well, looks like their brains froze too. <laughs> okay. Wow, they were playing RPs with the... <laughs> oh god, dude. This was never going to work, I'm sorry. One more game against Yami Yugi. This could mean anything. And I'm gonna get back to Legend 2 if I win this one. Also 30 cards again. Uh, this time... Uh... So it's kind of a pee pee poo poo hand. I'm gonna have to shuffle back the Book of Moon. I hate this. I hate this. It does give me one disruption, but it also kind of loses to Dark Hole. I'm still gonna do it, because I don't think I have a better play, but... We make a Booster Dragon, and then we make Dragon's Mirror. And we have the Boot Sector Loom still up for what it's worth, so we are going to be able to summon nothing. Because we don't have any Rockets in Grave anymore. I, yeah, maybe this wasn't the correct play. Maybe set one pass. That was the play. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna give my Savage 500 attack just because I can. And this is one disruption, but I did invest a bunch of resources into it. Fortunately, I seem to be playing against the worst version of uh, Telonite anyone has ever witnessed, so it's fine. What's this one? Fiendish Chain, okay. Metal Rocket is really cool. This is potentially lethal. Wait. What if it is Mirror Force? I feel like I should pop it. It did not activate when I summoned. I feel like this is a battle trap. 
It is Waboku. Uh, not Waboku. Bad aim. <laughs> what? I think it was Waboku. <laughs> wow, I'm really dumb today, huh? As per usual. Um, summoning the Silver Rockets. What are they playing? Interesting, but this is Taylor Knights, right? There's no way this is not Taylor Knights. What? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, huh? Okay. I'm in. Huh? <laughs> what? What? This isn't real. This isn't a real deck. This isn't real, dude. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? All this for that? Needle ceiling. Oh, that's really good against my deck, too. Ah, oh, so close. Yep. What was this deck? Huh? What? The only cards here that aren't one of are Kytroid, because it's a free card, Celestial, which I... No, it's not. It's Decider, the three one. They only have one Decider, by the way. And, and Wall of Disruption. But... Uh, I don't... I don't understand. Okay, last one, because I have... I feel like I haven't really played against anything competent for the past three games. I think I play against Crystrons, then Infernoids, then something, uh, and I get to go first again. I don't think I've gone second once playing this deck, which uh, is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to shuffle back the uh, Shell Rocket. I want to keep the Dark Hole just in case I get blown up, which is entirely too possible. Um... I'm gonna do the, the same play as always. I like this play. It's called Special the Silver Rocket. Pop my own boot sector launch in order to get Magna Rocket. And then, though we're not going to be able to end on a Borlord Furious Dragon, we are going to be able to take a sneak peek at our opponent's extra deck. Silver Rocket, show me what they got. Oh, it's my dolches. Uh, I don't think banishing either one does. Maybe banishing the glass souffle. I think I want to banish the glass souffle. Okay, and that's the end of my turn. At the end of my turn, silver rocket, specials rocket tracer. And that's it. So, if the. If they're on the Destiny Draw version, there's a chance that they're playing Hoot Cake and <laughs> Magical Mallet. Oh, this deck is so bad. Though it is funny, because these decks came in the same mini box and um, he shuffled back his entire hand. Fantastic. Oh, he got Magellan. That's great. I'm really happy for you. Um... These decks came in the same mini box, and when I did my KT Cup sort of tier list, I put Rocket in Rogue, and uh, I don't think I talked about Medolce at all. And what happened was a couple of Medolce decks topped, but using, you know, five monsters total like three Magellines, one Pitting Cess, and one Pitting Cesser, and no Rockets, which is still surprising to me because this is a competent strategy. But uh, it just doesn't work sometimes, I guess. 
They're gonna go for a glass to play. Activate Book of Moon. What right on? I don't think I can let this slide. I'm gonna pop the Booster Dragon. Why do they wait so long to activate it? It's beyond me. Uh, and we're gonna go for a Metal Rocket. Booster Dragon is going to activate in Grave, allowing us to special a Silver Rocket back. I'm gonna put them in defense. I don't think they're long for this <laughs> world anyway. Uh, I think there's a very high chance that they get Hirami sued. Wait, he messed up! No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't activate the... Uh, he just uh, detached. And then he's going to be able to use the Chocolate mode to shuffle back this, special another four, and then do something cool with it. Though it does mean that he is out of uh, Glassy Place. So Queen Tiramisu hits the field, he can shuffle back one, no he can shuffle two back, oh that's really bad, yeah. Can shuffle the uh, glass you play and the Magdalene. Shuffle my two that float. Why would you get me this back? Why would you give me? Why would you give me back the? Because uh... I'm dead anyway. It doesn't matter. I think I lose this one. Oot cake. We are playing oot cake. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'm totally dead. Um. You know what? All things considered, but even if I did go for an Evil Storm Nightmare line, I had no way of winning uh, because uh, because they drew very specifically Book of Moon. So congrats to them. They are the first duelist to defeat me in a while and they did so using Medolches of all things. So that's it. That's that's the deck. That's Rockets. Um, I think it's a pretty cool deck. I like playing it. I like um, winning with it most of the time. But sometimes things don't go your way, and it's a deck that is still very reliant on Tracer, Quick Launch, uh, the Silver Rocket trick that I showed you is neat, but it's not amazing. And outside of Furious Dragon setups, you still have a rather mediocre turn one like turn one plays like you know booster plus uh rocket tracer means that you get three e dragons on board eventually and two of them even float um but it doesn't matter if your opponent is like you know non-destruction removal <laughs> so yeah it don't happen Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I personally can't wait for uh, Varus to come back with more rocket support. I hope you do too. I will definitely be playing Crystrons in a future video. And in the meantime, um, take care everyone. And I have nothing else to say. Bye.